Good day. Welcome to today's class. Today, we are going to be discussing force. My name is uh, Jimo Asikirula Adio. Introduction. A force is an external effort that causes an object to undergo a change in motion and direction. When an object begins to move or stops to move, a force is indeed responsible for that. A force is anything, any interaction that, when on oppose, will change the motion of an object. That is, a force can cause an object with mass to change its velocity, that is, to accelerate. Force can also be described as a push or pull force. It has both magnitude and direction, which make it to be called among which make it to be among factor quantity. Um, force is measured in Newton. I believe you understand that. Let's proceed. Type of force. One, contact force. These are force. These are forces that occur between two bodies in contact with, with each other. Below our example, we have push, we have pull force, we have frictional force, and we have tension. I believe you get that. Let's proceed. We have, let's explain fr what frictional force is all about. This is a force created whenever two surfaces move across each other. It is the opposing force acting against the motion of one surface across another. Friction depends on the nature of the surface involved. That is, smooth surfaces have minimal friction acting between them, while rough surfaces have high frictional forces acting between them. I believe you get that. Let's proceed. Advantages and disadvantages of friction. Here are the advantages of friction. It allows our vehicle to move freely and stop whenever we apply brake. 2. It assists us to walk conveniently. 3. It allows us to write with pencil and clean using eraser. I believe you get that. So that means friction, force is applied, force is acting, and also for you to clean it is a friction. So it, it, it gives us opportunity to do that. Disadvantages of friction. 1. Friction opposes motion. Two, it causes wear and tear of machine parts. Three, it causes noise pollution. Four, engines of automobile use more fuel as a result of friction. Four, or five rather, the part of a machine eat as a result of friction, thus useful energy is wasted as a result and reduce the efficiency of machine. Let's proceed. How to reduce friction? One, you can use lubricant. Two, use of ball bearing to replace sliding friction by rolling friction. I hope you get that. We have ball and we have bodies, what they normally call bodies. That's the application of uh, ball bearing to replace sliding friction. Also, we also have applying grease if you apply grease it will reduce the friction of sliding part of the machine let's proceed what is non-contact force this is the force that exists between two objects that are not in contact example are one gravitational force this is the force of attraction between the object in the earth the farther an object from the earth surface the less gravitational force and this explains why every object comes down when thrown up two we have magnetic force this is the mechanical force exerted on an object by magnetic field that is a major two example of non-contact force let's do a small calculation 
calculation on gravitational force. To calculate the force of gravity acting on an object, here is the mathematical, mathematical expression that is force equal to mg, where f is f equal to mg, where f is our force acting on an object which is measured in Newton. We have m which is equal to mass of the object in k in kilogram kilogram and we have g which is equal to acceleration due to gravity in meter per seconds and is usually 9.8 meter per second square let's see this example example one calculate gravitational force acting on an object of mass 50 kg taking g equal to 9.8 meter per seconds solution itemize what you are given in your question that is we have f which is equal to force that we are asked to calculate m which is equal to 50 kg and our g is given to be 9.8 meter per second square and we remember from our formula m f equals to mg that is mass times acceleration which means that we just have to multiply 50 times 9.8 which will give you 490 newton don't forget you have to put your newton there your unit there which is newton example two what is the mass of an object acted upon by a gravitational force of 1500 newton what is the mass of the of an object that is solution itemize what you are given in the question we are given our force to be 1500 newton our mass, which is m, is what we are asked to calculate, and g has been given to us to be 9.8 meter per second square. From our formula, which is f equal to mg, then we have to make our m, which we are asked to calculate, we we'll make it the subject of formula. That is, you divide f by g, which is equal to f over g, which is 1500 over 9.8 which is equals to 153.1 kilogram that is our mass that we are asked to calculate i believe you understand summary summary of what you have done so far one a force is an external effort that causes an object to undergo a change in motion and direction we have major two type of force which are contact force and non-contact force contact force are forces that occur between two bodies in contact with each other and we have example to be push pull and uh, tension we have friction also and non-contact force is the force that exists between two objects that are not in contact with it with each other and we have magnetic force as an example and gravitational force assignment divine tension and friction number two calculate force acted up upon an object of 120 kilogram given that your acceleration due to gravity is equal to 9.8 see you next class